we're saying with the information about the RBI governor stepping down and various uh, experts who we've, whom we've spoken to in the last hour tell us that this is not only bad for the Indian markets and for Indian politics, it is very bad at this point for India's credibility globally because this will affect how India is seen uh, globally at this point. Now, uh, information that's coming in is that the Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has broken his silence on the RBI Governor Ujit Patel's resignation. He says the government acknowledges with the deep sense of appreciation the services rendered by Dr. Ujit Patel to his country, both in his capacity as Governor and Deputy Governor of the RBI. It was a pleasure for me to deal with him and benefit from his scholarship. Now. We also have at this point, if I'm not mistaken, a message that has come from the Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Narendra Modi. On Twitter, he says, uh, Dr. Ujit Patel is an economist of a very high caliber and a deep, insightful understanding of macroeconomic issues. He steered the banking system from chaos to order and ensured discipline. Under his leadership, the RBI has, fought financial, has brought financial stability. I beg your pardon. These are uh, messages coming in from the finance minister and the uh, prime minister acknowledging um, you know, the RBI governor and his uh, statement and his um, you know, uh, service rendered to the country. Uh, we must remind our viewers at this point, the RBI governor on the other hand has acknowledged neither of these two people in his resignation. He has only thanked his colleagues and the directors of the board. He has made no mention whatsoever of the finance minister or the prime minister, two people or he was effectively reporting to or uh, two people he was working with very, very closely. So while the finance minister has actually said that it was a pleasure for me to deal with him, the RBI governor has not uh, sort of returned that sentiment. Uh, right now with me, uh, I have my colleague uh, Meenakshi. Meenakshi, uh, obviously going into the winter session of parliament just tomorrow, this is perhaps going to give opposition uh, something to pick up uh, on the first day of parliament. Well, absolutely, uh, Faye. This is uh, very, very critical. The timing part is so important. Remember, we are also looking at five state election results, uh, which uh, are scheduled for tomorrow. And, of course, the winter session of parliament, where we already know uh, the stock of ammunition that the opposition has today gathered against the government. We've seen this high-powered opposition meet uh, conclude just a short while back here in New Delhi. Uh, We've seen Chandrababu Naidu uh, organize uh, and forge this opposition unity so surely this comes as another added ammunition uh, to the opposition's arsenal. As we speak, we, uh, we have had the Congress party jump in. They've already attacked the government over this. We have heard from Randeep Singh Surjewala and also Ahmed Patel, a very senior eminent politician, slamming the government, saying that uh, somewhere or somehow, although Ujit Patel, very pertinent to mention, uh, has cited personal reasons. But given the backdrop Fay, of this entire feud that was playing out between between RBI governor and government of India, surely uh, there were some attempts as, at ceasefire and there was hope that peace has finally been attained uh, between the RBI and the central government. But the subsequent events, especially the startling events that have played uh, out in uh, Delhi today, in the latter part of the day, uh, surely has given a lot of credence uh, to the opposition and their criticism of government interference in institutions and this time around the RBI. That's right. Uh, Meenakshi, many thanks for joining us uh, with that information. Just to give, a, give uh, our viewers a recap of what we're talking about, RBI Governor Urjit Patel has stepped down. He resigned a little earlier today. He put out a statement saying that uh, on account of personal reasons, he's decided to step down from his current position. He goes on to say, it's been my privilege and honor to serve in the Reserve Bank of India. In various capacities over the years, uh, the support and hard work of the RBI staff, officers and management, have been the proximate driver to the RBI's considerable accomplishments. He takes an opportunity then to express his gratitude to colleagues and directors of the board and wishes them best of luck. He makes no mention of the finance ministry, the finance minister or the government or anyone else in the government in his resignation. And we know now that the finance ministry and uh, the finance minister, I beg your pardon, and the prime minister have accepted his resignation and have thanked him for his service. So the question that, uh, that now arises is this, point number one, who will be the next RBI governor, especially given the situation, the sort of public um, spat or disagreement that we've witnessed between governor and RBI, government and RBI, who will take that job? 
Second question, how quickly can the government sort of uh, control the impact of this decision, both globally and internally? Will this impact India's credibility and the credibility of our GDP numbers globally? And finally, what impact will this have on the winter session of parliament that is scheduled to begin tomorrow? How much work will actually get done? Will the opposition use this as a reason to disrupt the session? These are questions that we will have to answer and we will answer, of course, at 9 p.m. this evening at prime time. For now, I'm going to take you back to the news. Stay with Mirror now.